Yo, what's up guys? Rago here from Mac Height. Welcome back to our Progressive Unhook playlist. And this week we're gonna cover another fundamental move and of all the basic moves, this might be the best looking and give you the most bang for your buck as far as style. And that is the unhook front roll. Now, this is actually normally learned right after the back roll and for most people, it's just a little bit more difficult and that comes down to the takeoff. And uh, I actually struggled with this one myself while learning and I found that there are two variations to initiate the roll and we're gonna cover both of those variations in this video. And chances are, one of the two are going to be easier for you. And something that I am pushing really hard on this playlist is all of the advanced moves are just combinations of the basics and repetition of these fundamental moves. So if you've progressed to this stage in your kiteboarding, this is really exciting because you're on the verge of unlocking moves like the Aspen, the front to revert, or probably what I think is the best looking trick in kiteboarding, the front to blind. So with all that said, this is gonna be a fun one. Let's get to it. So all right guys, as always, don't forget to click the eye icon in the upper right hand corner of your screen because I did make a point to write all of this out and go into more detail in the written blog. And I will include a free PDF that you can download for your phone and take to the beach with you on your next session. Now let's get into the prerequisites of this trick. And like all of the moves on this playlist, this could be the first kiteboarding trick that you try. You just have to know how to relaunch your kite and ride upwind. But it does help to know how to do rallies and back rolls because the takeoff is a little more difficult on the front roll, and what this is, is when you do a back roll or a rally, the scoop will actually pop you into the trick. But with the front roll, you have to scoop and then counter rotate against that initial force that threw you into the air, and this can trip some people up. So I guess on the uh, difficulty scale that I've mentioned uh, in some of the other videos here, you know, this one is maybe just one step ahead of the back roll in difficulty, but regardless, this still could be the first trick that you try. So for the front roll, that scoop's going to pop you into the air, and then you have to almost counter-rotate and redirect yourself into the roll. And this counter-rotation is actually part of what makes the front roll look so stylish. And uh, if you look at like a clip of a back roll versus a front roll, they're almost the same trick, but front rolls always seem to look better. And you can really bring a lot of your own style to the front roll as well, depending on the way that you initiate the rotation and the way that you turn your head, much like the back roll. But it, all these little things seem to impact this trick just a bit more. And to cover one other point that I think everybody addresses in front roll videos, you wanna be careful to not make this one an S-bend. And what separates a front roll from an S-bend is the front roll is still just a roll, whereas an S-bend, you have to do a stretched out rally first and then do a front roll with your legs above your head. And you will see a lot of kiteboarders who will do a front roll and they'll call it an S-bend and there's all kinds of confusion in the sport and there has been for years. But the defining factor here is for it to be an S-bend, you have to do a full rally and then do the rotation with your legs above your head. And for the front roll, you're more tucked and you're just doing like a standard roll. So just like all of our videos, I'm gonna break this down into four parts. And that is a trick overview, the body position in the air, variations, and the common mistakes. So for step one, you're gonna to wanna to keep the kite somewhat low, somewhere around one to 11 o'clock, and ride down on wind to unhook, and then carve back up wind and initiate a good solid pop. And just like all of our videos, you wanna make sure that you pop really hard on this trick. Now, initiate a hard pop, and make sure you get off the water first. And as you leave the water, this is where things change up. So let's talk about the redirect. Now I mentioned that this trick is different from the back roll, and that is when you do a back roll, the scoop will throw you into the roll. And with the front roll, you have to resist that. So you pop hard, and as soon as you leave the water, you wanna do a few things consecutively. So you're gonna bring your front knee hard into your chest. You wanna tuck your ear into your shoulder, almost like you're connecting these two points and then look back over your shoulder and throw your hips into the rotation. Now while you're rolling around, you're gonna feel somewhat blind on this trick, so it's really important to keep that front knee tucked, and it really helps to pull hard on your front hand so you just have a point of orientation, and on top of that, you want the kite to keep pulling you forward through the roll. While rolling through the air, you wanna make sure that you keep that front knee tucked 
poke out the back leg just a little bit and keep looking over your shoulder. And like everything in kiteboarding, the body is going to follow the head, so keep looking over your shoulder until you complete the roll and spot your landing. As you feel yourself naturally falling out of the air, make sure that you land riding downwind towards the kite and pull that control bar hard into your front hip. And something I am going to hammer on this playlist because it is the fundamentals. Remember with kiteboarding, ride across to the wind, load upwind, land downwind. So you do want to do your trick while going downwind. So for step two, let's talk about the body positioning while loading and in the air. So while you're loading, keep your arms close and treat your body as a unit as you load all of that energy up. As you're released from the water, keep your arms close and bent, almost like you never unhooked. Now as you leave the water, you want to get your body as compact as possible. So bring that front knee in and then bring your front ear down to touch your shoulder and then look over your back shoulder to initiate the front roll. And you're gonna stay in the semi-tuck position throughout the entire roll. Now while rotating in the air, you almost want to imagine that you're drawing a circle with your elbow and your knee connected as you swing your hips around through that roll. And I mentioned with the front roll, your first few attempts, you're gonna feel almost blind coming into this rotation and it might feel a bit unnatural. So it really helps to pull hard on your front hand and you can actually get a sense of where you are in the air by redirecting the kite down and having it pull you forward a bit into that rotation. And this really gives you a sense of where you're at. And on top of it, if you're looking over that shoulder, when you do that initial tug with your front hand, you should, see your landing almost as soon as you redirect the kite a little bit. Now if you stay in that tuck position and keep looking over your shoulder, you're going to be in a good position for the landing on this one. So as you feel yourself dropping out of the sky, pull the bar hard into your lead knee and then land flat riding down one at the kite to take the power out. And something that actually helps a lot with front rolls is taking your backhand off the bar. So when you get about midway around, take the backhand off and that will force you to redirect the kite forward and it's going to pull you into the landing very naturally. Let's talk about the different variations of the front roll. And just like our back roll video, most of the variations just come down to your axis of rotation. So you can really invert the front roll depending on what you do with your head. So you, after you do that initial powerful release and you're doing the redirect, you can actually choose to look under your shoulder or throw your head back, just like the back roll video. So dialing things back a little bit, I mentioned that there were two variations to initiate the roll as you're redirecting after that scoop. And when I was learning the front roll, I was initially told to look through my armpit, and this was incredibly difficult for me. It always felt super awkward. Every time I went into the rotation, I felt completely blind going into it. And then I started watching videos and watching how other people do it, and uh, I actually found that it helped me to throw my head back. And while that was a little more unnatural for back rolls, with the front roll, throwing my head back like this really allowed me to open up and swing my hips around into the roll. And chances are this is going to be different for you. So I recommend you try both ways uh, for the redirect and see which one feels more natural. And then work your way up from there and then start experimenting. And uh, like the back roll video, you can redirect your axis of rotation depending on the speed that you bring into the trick, the way that you initiate the roll, how much you arc your back, how much you swing your hips. So just start experimenting and make the front roll your own. And that's something that's really cool about this trick is almost any way you choose to do it, because of that little redirect after the scoop, the front roll always does seem to have a little more style to it. And it's probably the best feeling trick in kiteboarding. So moving on to the common mistakes of the front roll, I think the number one mistake on this trick is actually sending the kite too high. And you can counter this by pulling hard on the front hand. And then pretty much like every other video it, we've done in this playlist is people tend to try to take some power out of the kite. So they might bend at the hips like a hinge. They might try to load with their arms stretched out or they're gonna release their edge a little bit early or point their toes to soften up their edge and take some of the power out of the trick. So remember that you do need to do a very hard pop for the front roll, even more so than the back roll, because you do have to kind of redirect after you pop off the water. So you do have to have a really solid pop coming into this one. And I would say those probably are the two biggest mistakes for this trick. So really get the pop dialed and then 
Make sure that you're pulling hard on that front hand so you don't send the kite back up. And if you can do all of those things and visualize this trick in your mind, you're gonna be in a good place to get this one. And this is probably one of the few tricks on this playlist where I actually recommend maybe learning it hooked in first. And uh, hooked in front rolls feel surprisingly close to unhooked front rolls. And it does help to do that with uh, the scent jump first and then progress into doing it powered with the kite low. But I will say that the powered variation of the front roll actually is easier on hooked. But if you do send the kite up, it might help you just open up some of that muscle memory to start rotating that direction. And one other mistake that I do see people making on the front roll is they will stretch out while they're rolling through the air. It just looks better, feels better, and everything flows easier if you keep your arms tucked in and bent, almost, almost like you never unhooked while you're initiating this full rotation. So that's pretty much it for this week. If you guys have any questions, remember to find me on Instagram and let me know if you have any questions. And don't forget to click the eye icon and download your free PDF. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And until next week, this has been Raigo.